What's up guys, JT Wheels back with another video. So, today's video is gonna be about what the differences are on the Mark 7 Golf GTI, the 2017 model, okay? So it's just been released, um, and I just wanna go through a few of the features um, that they've said they brought on the car. Okay then, so first of all, I've heard that they've, um, they've actually upgraded the touchscreen to a 9.2 inch screen. Um, which which has obviously got the sensor mode as well like this one has but um, that one is 9.2 inches so that's a little bit bigger than the current one at the moment obviously in the um, in the glove box there's as you all know or if you don't know there is a DVD player in there um, and it has two slots for your SD card and that's where you put one, it obviously one's a map and one's for anything you want, whether you want to put music on or something like that. Um, but this, the new one, the 2017, it's got the DVD drive um, and it's got two USB ports and it's still got the two uh, SD card slots, which is pretty cool. Okay, so Volkswagen in their wisdom have thought about the security and they've actually, they've actually added a security package to the car. Um, so if your car gets robbed and the alarm goes off it automatically tracks the security tracking system that then can find your car which I think is pretty smart uh, I'm not sure on how much you've got to pay extra for that or whether that's just standard with the car but um, I'm sure we'll find out in the near future so with the 2017 Golf it's the dial screen has changed so it's all digital now and it's got like um, they've gone pretty much like what the Audis have got um, now obviously Audi have got this already VW are just um, catching on to it and it's basically like a digital background display it actually looks pretty cool but if I'm honest would I prefer it over my normal dials probably not but again that's my opinion and I'm test drove one with the digital stuff in the background I've obviously seen pictures and videos of it um, but nah, I'm happy with the dials I like the old sort of style um, dials so we'll stick with that okay so engine power let's talk about the engine power so as we all know it's a two litre um tsfi fsti well one of them stis whatever um so two litre so i'm getting getting uh, sidetracked there with sexually transmitted infections or diseases or whatever it is but we all know it's not that anyway I'll, i've uh, i've digressed anyway so yeah two litre car two litre engine all right and this one i'm driving now uh 227 brake horsepower um, I believe that's just the performance pack one. I think that's with an extra few brake horsepower added on. I think the normal Golf is um, it's around 220, I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, as always. I'm open to um, comments. Uh, but yeah, so the new one is same engine, two liter, but it's boasting in an upgrade of power to 242 brake horsepower, which, okay, it's not bad. Yeah, it's like 20 brake up from uh, what I'm driving now, which, you know, it's a little bit more power, which is nice. Uh, I'm not sure on the torque factor on that. Um, I will get back to you guys on that. But the thing I that annoys me a little bit is, obviously, you've got the VW. It's really good, well-made, um, amazing engines, all that sort of stuff. And then compare it with its rivals, so like the Ford ST. Now, I've had one of them, and that was banging out uh, 250 brake horsepower and it does it well it was a lot quicker than this car um so it kind of i don't know it kind of annoys me a little bit why vw are only i mean the the new one they're bringing out now is as i just said there 242 brake horsepower um i mean <laughs> that's the 2017 model where you've got ford you know they're banging out 250 in their sts already so you know what could come next for them the power gainage in the um in ford is just so much more uh, the same with the Focus RS, it's, you know, it's 350 brake horsepower and the Golf R is 300 brake horsepower. I, I, honestly, comment below, it does frustrate me a little bit, alright? But I, need, I want to try and find out, maybe one of you guys knows uh, why that is. Um, it just seems, I mean they put them in the same category but clearly the Ford's ahead with the, um, the brake horsepower. Obviously steering and stuff comes into play as well and the chassis and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, the power outage is, you know, it's off by 50 nearly all the time. 
Anyway, that's enough of ranting about that. Let's have a look what else they've got in the 2017 Golf GTI. Moving on to the exterior of the new 2017 Golfs, Mark 7s. Um, so apparently, from what I've read, there's not, and what I've seen, there's not actually that much difference in the, um, the sort of exterior of the car, if you like, to the styling. Um, I mean, you've, from what I've heard is you've got to literally park, say, this car and the new GTI next to each other to realise there's actually you know some any significant differences if you know what I mean so um, yeah so they've obviously kept the, the, the chassis and the, all the styling the same um, just modified little bits to make it look a bit more fancier which personally as I said before if, you, if you're looking at it it doesn't really look that different there's nothing there's not a, a major overhaul but obviously they'll probably do that on the Mark 8 also on that um, I actually like the look of the, the Club Sport, the GTI Club Sport. Now, it's something I haven't talked about before in my videos, but um, I've seen one. When I picked this car up, there was actually a white one in there. Absolutely amazingly look, good looking car. Um, now, that's, that's preaching 265 brake horsepower. So that to me says, you know, that's obviously, it's like the Edition 30s that used to come out in the old Mark V. So I'm guessing that that is quite a beast as well which I wouldn't mind having a bit of a test drive over really to, just to see the differences um, in handling and the power ok I'm going to stop the chat there guys because the beast needs a little bit of fuel so I'm just going to pull into Shell uh, fill the beast up and then I will continue this little chat Didn't actually fill it up. This guy's, this guy's drifting. If you're interested, that's what ten pound gets you. If you can see that on the dial. So yeah, where were we? Yeah, club sport. So if any of you guys have got a club sport um, and you want it to feature on this channel, let me know. We'll hook up and uh, I'll get some footage of it and we'll talk about it. Love it when you put a bit of juice in them they absolutely go love it all right guys yeah just um i've also just started a facebook uh sort of like page so if you want to go and follow that it's jono uh jono 959 no wrong jono wills 959 um bang that in facebook should come up with my page and then just hit smash a like i'm gonna be putting like pictures all the sort of videos on there and stuff like that guys so head over support the channel um sweet beans guys so i think i've pretty much covered uh everything that i know off the top of my head on the new mark 7 golf gti 2017 um guys as always thanks for watching the video um comment below if there's any questions you may have or any videos that you want me to do of the car or any other car guys if you actually want your um, car featured on the channel please just like give me a private message or something and let me know because um, I'm up for doing a few like collabs and getting some more cars on the channel um, I've done Dale's ST which and uh, Martin's ST which is pretty cool so yeah I'm just looking for some more cars to do I don't want to just limit it to VW although I do love my VW um, and I'll be doing many more vlogs on them but yeah so anyway ran it all again so guys that is the end of this video um, hopefully gonna bang another one out on bang another video not a wank um, bang another one out Saturday or Sunday so stay tuned guys thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh, smash that like button and uh, share the page let's get some get some fans um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.